So tell us about this dish you're gonna teach us from your upcoming book. So this is in the winter chapter. It's a wild mushroom bolognese with no. hand pappardelle. And we got to start already. So in this pot, we have some bacon. We got some onions caramelizing with a little bit of salt and some carrots. And they're softened and ready to go. And right now, we're ready to add in some freshly minced garlic. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna add our mushrooms in. We have some really nicely chopped portobello and oyster mushrooms. And the nice thing with this recipe is you can use so many varieties because they all have wonderful, unique flavors. We're stirring this in and the mushrooms are gonna cook down a bit. They're gonna have more flavor and a lot of the water is gonna get cooked off as well. And then once these cook down, we're gonna add some delicious tomato paste tomato paste so you have umami on umami yes and like tomato paste is such a wonderful ingredient you really take all the nutrients all the flavor out of the tomato and just concentrate it with sunlight you know and here we can add in like a nice pinch of salt so here everything's coated it's smelling delicious like i love these like just wonderful smells and you have some choices for deglazing the pan and adding some liquid back in. This is where I get intimidated, yep. but I do want to call something out about your recipe that I went through last night. So I get nervous when I hear deglaze the pan mm -hmm. and get the brown bits. This is where my stomach churns and I feel very inadequate in the kitchen. Do I pour the whole thing in? Yeah, you can pour the whole thing in. We have two different pieces here. Some studio magic happening here. Because we have our simmered away Delicious, look at the difference in color. You can just see it really cooked down. It's like a gravy. Yes, oh my gosh. Beautiful. We also have some delicious hand cut pasta in front of us and you can make it, you could buy it. I think it's fun to make, so it's like a fun thing to do with your kids too, but I understand time, so go ahead and just. Can I just ladle it in there so that I yeah. kind of coat the noodles? Yeah, we're gonna ladle some in and coat the noodles just to give them a start. Okay. This then. is, oh my God, this is so exciting. Oh, I don't know why it's pasta for me. It's just my very favorite food. There's something about it that's so artistic, so comforting, so incredibly expressive and diverse that can be so many things. Yeah, so, I. Oh, you have the perfect twirl. I do? Yeah, I love this, here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it closer so you oh, can just pop you. this in. Oh, you know what's the best trick? Yes. Sorry, take your ladle, actually put it on there, and then start to twirl. You're also so brave for not using any apron in this. <laughs> I'm not using an apron. Get on there. You get on there. Beautiful. Mm. I think it's nice. Ladle some more of that sauce on and then. I did ladle some oh, sauce good. on. A little extra sauce on top. Oh, you <laughs> son of a. Then Sorry. you could grab some delicious Parmesan and just grate it on. A or, Parmigiano. Yes. Sprinkle that over. You could add some more herbs, whatever you love. Okay, cheers. See, your portion's what I'd really eat. Yeah, this is like a. Um, I was just trying to be fancy <laughs> and ladle my way into a perfect little thing. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, it is so wintry and delicious. Cozy, like hearty is like, mm. Absolutely roastingly delicious. Tomato-y, mushroom forward. Oh my gosh. Can you write the? <laughs> that wasn't going to go. <laughs> I also really want to talk about how beautiful it is the way you speak. And if we could all just be a little more gentle with each other. I'm sorry, it makes me oh. emotional. Like, <laughs> <come here. laughs> mm. People want to learn, and they don't want to learn by that sort of fast-paced judgment. They want a gentleness, and that's what you're doing, and Thank I you. so appreciate that. You're doing it too. <laughs> this is clearly you're a kindred spirit. <laughs> I, I, I'm not having a nervous breakdown. I really just appreciate your approach, and I think it's a really masterful one. Thank you. And I well, food is love. Yes. It's coming together. It's having a dinner with your family or friends, and just taking a breath and like putting your phone aside. So, 
let's speak that language kindly and together. Well, you speak it so beautifully. Anyway, John Cannell, thank you so much for this profound tutorial for me. that yeah. really struck such a chord with me. I'm so grateful. Visit the Drew Barrymore Show .com in Cookbook Club to check out John's pick for Cookbook Club for himself. I can't wait to see what that is. Mm -hmm. Will you tell us? I will. <laughs> okay, good. Go to .com to find that out. And the Preppy Kitchen Recipes for Seasonal and Simple Pleasures uh, is available for pre-order and will be available October 4th, and we'll be right back. Okay.